This mob will move in today. Then the mob we drafted up yesterday, Sunday, for the, probably tomorrow shearing. We we drafted the lambs off them so we could bring them home. We'll shear these ewes and then uh, take them back after they've shorn just back to their lambs. They're uh, it's about 10k away from our shearing shed, so we've had to draft them off, leave the lambs behind in the yards. We'll process them over there, click them, walk these home. It's 10k from one from that property back to this property. I got them 5k last night, locked them in a set of yards at my house, and bring them the extra 5k this morning. Uh, we're about five days into shearing, and my dogs are all getting a bit worn out. They're getting very foot sore. I uh, lost a dog yesterday, not lost a dog, but one of the dogs in the yards, Cub, got crook for something, so we had to take him to the vet last night, so we'll see how he is this morning, I'm not too sure. Hopefully he's fine, but these dogs, all work, road work with them that we do, and as you can see these roads, pretty hard on their feet, they get pretty lame. A couple of sheep on the back, a little bit sick, one's sick, one's a bit lame. Coco, the little Jack Russell, she's just keeping an eye on for me. We've got uh, Chook there, young dog. Chook, young, Chook is my one of my pups coming through. And that snake, he's an old dog. He and Coco are getting a bit old, getting a bit worn out. Got to bring some young ones through. I just better explain. Because we were a bit busy on Saturday, I couldn't really talk to the camera. Saturday was a busy day. We started the day with a concreting job, turning the old man's woodshed into a bit bigger shed. Had a dirt floor. We decided to concrete the floor for him so we could make it into a bit bigger shed for him to work in because he spends a lot of time in there. He's a farmer stuck in a... Sorry, he's a builder stuck in a farmer's body, as we like to te tease him about. Anyway... Did that Saturday morning, had a bit of leftover concrete, so we bored very quickly while it, in between trucks. We bored a couple of post holes to put the rest of the concrete in that was left over. We did, I think we did five holes, five holes, two gateways, three gateways actually. Uh, and then we put a little bit of concrete in a trench beside a house to sort of make a, a garden bed for the cottage. After that, uh, we loaded a bit of wool onto a truck. We sort of have our, our wool storage area was a bit full, so we loaded that on. Got rid of 50 bales or so just to make room for the rest. This is the hub, this is Bora Flats. This is the middle of our farms. I think we've got six farms. Six farms with about a 15K spread from one end to the other. But Bora Flats is right in the middle and this is the hub. This is where we bring all our sheep to do most of the major works like shearing, crutching. Oh, don't jump the ramp. Oh, there she goes. Leave her there. She's done enough walking. <laughs> the dogs know they've got them back. They're having a little rest. They're ready to go for a bit later. I've got another 300 metres and they'll be up, up in the sheep yards ready to go into the shed for shearing probably tomorrow. Morning all. Today we're shearing hoggett ewes. Uh, in shed testing today, so we've we've visually classed all these sheep a couple of months ago. Uh, took a couple hundred out. Now we're getting them in the shed, and we're going to take a mid-side sample 
and fleece weigh them and then we'll get that mid-side sample sent away to get the micron then in about oh, a month's time once they've all settled down and shearing wounds have healed we will get them in and what body weigh them and then we'll take those three pieces of information and we'll class out our bottom couple hundred thirty percent and they won't go back into our joining merino joining mob they'll probably go to a crossbred or we'll sell them usually we sell them this time we'll probably join them to a crossbred because lots of feed this year and not enough mouths to eat it as fit as I used to be but I'll show you explain what's going on here that's the property name of our property the wall, where the wall's been shorn Boral Flats kangaroos is to represent it's Australian that's the classes stencil registered classing stencil again Australian 4am is the line greasy wall that's the AW AWIs uh, stamp which we put on just to show that it's Australian made that's bale number 98 and the gold class is sustainable so that indicates that we do a couple of things we don't mules don't mules our lambs don't mules our sheep we use painkillers on all sheep at landmarking time and we are sustainable farms and a regenerative farm so we're always working to do the right thing by the land and by the farm and by the soils uh, and there's a lot involved in that that's probably another conversation on itself in itself what we're going to do here is sheep have been shorn Scotty Noel has seen shorn them we're bringing them out, we're going to jet them with Cooper's Blowfire Lice. We're doing that for obviously lice and, and uh, blowfire protection. Also, it's to wet their wool, wet the sheep, so they start activating their own lanolin process to protect them from the weather down the track or in another week or if a bad weather event eventually occurs after this shearing because they're pretty susceptible to bad weather now and can kill them. So we'll do that. The other reason we are doing it is we run them through the foot bath as well with zinc sulfate in it, about 20% to clean up any scalds, foot problems that might have had during, during lambing. Also because of the, the wet season we have, we've had, there's heaps of feed, it's always wet ground, so they're getting foot problems with scald and abscess and so on. So we'll run them through the foot bath as well. Pretty simple process. It's easy, and that's why we do it. We're home. is where I live. There's a little present I bought myself at the start of the year. We'll pull that out one day, that can be another vlog. 
dogs are happy. They've done nothing all day. They haven't worked at all today. They've been in the cage for half a day and then they just sat on the back of my ear for the rest of it. I'm not sure why they like the end of the day. They like getting in their cage for some reason. Don't you, puppy? Don't you, mate? That's where the dogs live. They've all got their own kennel. He gets a full full cup because he's just young, he's still growing. These other two fatties only get half a cup because they haven't been working. When they're not working, they just get fat. I only give them a full cup if they're working hard. Especially Chub. This is Chub. He gets so, so fat so quickly. Good boy. Snake, snake, snake. Snake. Good boy. Hiccup. Good boy. These are guinea fowl. I think they're a native South African bird. They like to be fed too. They give them a few dog biscuits every now and again. Whenever they come out for them. Alrighty, I'm signing off. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.